Hi, Poo Poo's. Now, Spoo Pointy Puff Terry. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome to the Poo Poo's Trap. So, this is a March love reading for a Taurus, Summer Rising, and Venus. Keep in mind, these are general messages. They may or may not resonate. If they do, great. If they don't, you can always book a personal reading with me to find out what your story is and we can get more in depth on what you need to know. Or you can check out your Moon Rising or your Venus sign. Okay? So, let's see. Universe, spirits, and guys, what messages do you have for Taurus, Summer Rising, and Venus when it comes to love for March 2021? Well, that flew out. All that glitters and blessed came out. I mean, blessed is at the bottom of the deck. Let's read blessed. That's number 22. Oh, yeah. Something wonderful and unearned and unexpected grace that is unforeseen gift from spirit. So spirit is about to bless you with some type of uh, gift that you don't even know that's coming towards you. Um, but some of you guys may be connecting with a person Mm, some of you guys may be being blessed to see what is um, in disguise right now with the person that you're dealing with. Because I feel like a person may be wearing a false mask when it comes to dealing with um, dealing with you. And they're not really revealing on who they are. So I feel like Spirit is definitely about to bless you with, um, with showing you the true colors of somebody. Uh, some of you guys may feel like a person is really for you, and this person may not be for you. This person is wearing a false mask. So, there we go. guys could be dealing with a Pisces, a Libra, Scorpio, Virgo, Leo. Hmm. Or Gemini. Another Taurus like yourself. <clears throat> Doesn't have to be those signs that I see it. Or cancer. So spirit is telling you to keep moving. Move on from your past. This could be definitely somebody from your past. And they're telling you to move on. <laughs> what I say? What I say? What does what that say? Moving on. This is somebody you need to move on from. There's another seed that uh, you need to plant elsewhere. Somebody that you'll be more passionate about. They're, just, they're telling you to just wait. Because you can have the foundation that you want and what you're trying to manifest. You're going to end up bumping into that person. Um, but right now, some of you guys could actually not even know that you're in some type of third party. Some of you guys could have found out. But... Um, I feel like this person could be coming to you and, and saying that they want to partner up, but they're telling you to stand your ground when it comes to this person. So I just heard level. This person could possibly just not be on your level at all, or at least for the month of March. This person could think like a page and or like a knight. Or acts like a page or acts like a knight and not really stable how you want them to be. Yeah, what did I just say? Page and there's a knight.
this person could also just be um, around for uh, the sex as well. Be dealing with a Sagittarius as well. Yep, you're going to receive clarity. Look. Okay, so this person talks like a damn page. This person acts immature. This person talks immature. So you need to move on. I feel like you already got the clarity that you need. You this person want to work on it, but they telling you that you need to leave this person out in the cold. And start being cold towards this person because it's only causing conflict. There's a new start that's coming towards you. And also, it could be that this person wanted to start something new with you, but this person is still like a knight. Like they come in and go back out with their emotions. <laughs> yep, and go go be, go be to they self, go in hermit mode. And some, some of you guys, this person ghosts you. Some of you guys be connected with a Virgo. Acting like they want to reconcile. Well, things be all good between you and this person, and all of a sudden, then you're in your head having anxiety, um, looking like the wounded warrior, having to heal yourself, and then you have to cut cut this person off. So you need to move away from your past, yeah, with the Six of Swords and the Six of Cups, because of this. This is why. Because it's toxic. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. This person is a page. And all they do, they could come and give you a little bit of communication and all of a sudden they leave you high and dry and you be um, either single again or this person leave you with sadness and regret. So there is some change that's about to come about. You have to pay attention to that change. Some of you guys are Aries could be coming towards you. Um... You have to take more control and take a leap of faith with healing. Some of you guys could be dealing with Aquarius. Yeah, this person could be juggling. And I'm not being funny. This person could possibly act like they be wanting to heal with you. And really, in reality, they could possibly just be coming in for sexual reasons or coming off with a false start. And you guys go on a break again and there's some type of distance. This person don't know what they want. So you need to move on. You need to keep moving on. And some of you guys, when you approach this to, to some to this person, this person turns defensive. So this is what's going to be going on. This is what's going to be happening for the month of March. Forgiving and learning, getting to know each other. See, this person is coming back with the same old thing. The same old thing. Uh, oh, that's too many cards. I flipped over. But I'll take that. So we got, okay. So this person comes in. Oh, that's why I said I want to take them. So this person come in saying that they want to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. They want to go ahead and make the effort. They want to make things right. Somehow you guys ended up rolling around in the bed, having passion with each other. This person still acts like a child, but you need to free yourself. It's unrequited. It's unrequited. Occupation. Some of you guys need to uh, focus on your finances. Yeah, you have a new start coming. You have a, a brand new start now. If you you gonna go this way or you gonna go this way towards this thief, the person that steals your time, your energy. You 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 gonna go towards a new start or you gonna go back towards this person? False person. Can't make this up. Can't make it up. Yep, you need to end this. 
You need to end it with coughing because you're about to be blessed with something new, something else, something that's more in your vibration, something that's meant for you with a gift. This person is not it. What advice do you have for Taurus for love for the month of March 2021 for love? Okay. So we have waxing moon. The energy is gaining momentum. What was that? That fell. Yep. A new start is coming. New moon in your love life. So you have something new coming. Just saying. Brand new start in love. So you guys might want to pay attention. So the signs that spirit is trying to give you, um, I kind of feel like you guys already know what you really need to do when it comes to this person. This person is just not it. They're not it. And it's okay to feel like that this person was it, but spirit is trying to bless you um, with something in disguise. You guys don't have a clue that you have something new coming towards you that's gonna meet that's gonna be something for you that's going to be the foundation something that you're passionate about something that you manifest that you just have to wait and you need to move on from this there is a new start that's coming towards you but you have to stand your ground when it comes to this person or even conversating with this person you have to stand your ground Okay, so that's all the messages that I have for you guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me, everything is down in the description box below. Um, my Instagram information is also down in the description box as well. Go over there, hit that follow button for me. I would really appreciate it. Other than that, I love you guys, and I'll definitely talk to you guys later. Bye, peoples.